Hey guys, our mommy of Lagos is ours. Our mommy of Lelele. <laughs> our one and only mommy of Lagos is free. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vicky and I am here bringing you gist for us to gist enjoy ourselves because nobody will cause Nigerian problem. So yeah, we can always just have fun, you know, do some one or two I'm a ball you get and just enlighten ourselves while also entertaining each other. So today I'm bringing you the good news. Ah yeah, if it's not good news to you, we are, well, I don't know how to help you, but to me, I'm excited because for some reason, I love Bobby Whiskey drama on the internet, you get. <laughs> so three months back, Bobby Whiskey was actually jailed for um, Naira mutilation, you get. Maybe he went to a party and he sprayed the Naira and he was actually uh, taken to court or sued or taken to court and then the, he pleaded guilty and of course this Naira mutilation thing is something that is if, if when you plead guilty they give you like a fine and warning especially when it's the first time they are actually um bringing you to court you understand but bobby risky's case was quite different he went to court and instead of them to give him like a fine as bobby risky actually uh, pleaded guilty based on the advice from his lawyers thinking that that's how it was going to pan out or more than not bobby risky six months in prison and bobby risky has been out of social media out of the internet space or out of the public space for three whole months and of course some people will be confusing that oh it's three months and not six months of course when you go to jail morning and night is being counted as one day so in a day like this is counted as two days so definitely th three months is six months in the jail when they count it in the jail time so today of course he was supposed to come out last week monday and then when his friends actually went to you know pick him up in prison they said that there was a miscalculation that it was supposed to be today august 5th and guess what but risky's friend flew in from different part of the world where they are to come and pick our mama of lele <laughs> it's about to get Only this ball can be me. please can we go i want to go and sleep what is this so correct <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank God for me all the way from Dubai. Then she went to Abuja. All the way from Dubai! And I came back again to Lagos. I, <laughs> I love you. Thank you so I much. I love you. I think you are the best friend ever. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 To pick him and you guys when risky is the only one that has gone to jail coming out he's looking all fat and plumpy and chubby and of course he did well to beat his face they beat bobby risky's face to perfection like they did a makeup on him and he was looking <laughs> he was looking very succulent <laughs> and i was beginning to think is bobby risky pregnant i mean they've gone to impregnate bobby risky in prison because why is he looking this fat and fresh he was really looking fat and fresh and some people are speculating that oh but risky did not go to jail but risky they was just chilling somewhere or they just asked him to stay out of the social out of social media and public space for some time so that people will just uh, go off his tail blah 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 blah, blah yada, 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 you know so i don't know whether but risky went to jail i don't know me i'm not going to jail before so i don't know so i'm wondering is it that when somebody goes to jail you come back looking fat and fresh just like but risky is looking because my guy is looking so succulent our mommy of lagos is looking so succulent and we cannot wait for the first life on instagram because you guys are about to experience some mommy is not even here to do because he was he's coming out looking really excited looking very vibrant he's not even coming out looking all gloomy or sad or this oh well, he's bubbling like ah i just came back from <laughs> from my holiday you guys you guys are getting ready to hear from me and all that so probably risky is out and we are waiting for his first official video where he'll be going live of course make it quite explain give us why in fact like that and why in fresh like that for prison where everybody they go i mean but risky what kind of really inside prison i don't understand i don't understand anyway guys that's just it then moving on you guys there's something that has actually been going on i don't understand the back and forth of p square peter and paul always having issues i just give people the exciting news in the first in the first you know segment you get this one is something that i feel some type of way about this year consistent issues that they keep having you understand i two years back they after they have had issues and they've quarreled for almost four years or five years or so they came back two years as in 2022 they said they are back you know everybody was excited for their return and everybody was looking forward to their music and their togetherness because everybody was clamoring for them to come back to be really honest and then all of a sudden in recent weeks or months we started hearing that they had issues again and just to confirm that rumor that we've been hearing we saw news from um, paul the half of the p square i think 
the other train you get where he went to a radio station and he had this to say yeah. now this thing was happening like december last year wow wow then, what happened this year i was invited by the yes i had a petition against me i'm a harder brother and i did not expect i never thought it to come to this part i thought it was just music and then the next thing People are telling me, what did you do? Uh, uh, somebody say you're going to go to jail 20 years, I'm going to lock you up. Uh, what did I do? Okay, I got there. Okay, what is it? They told me everything. Uh, as they did, they've already printed all my account statement, everything. Put it on the table. I explained this, 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 this. First of all, what I tell my what if I was a bad person? I'm, I'm even doing one doing pills like a Yahoo board. That's what mm. like, no, just finish me. But I took it. Then they started investigation. I was there. I was standing. The kind of question I started asking myself. I wasn't comfortable with him. I said, "What is this?" Then, what I knew was a bit kind of serious. I was when I said, "You have to get the shooting. You have to get the lawyer. You have to get this." Whoa. What? Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I did everything. Wow. Then what then happened? One month ago, they called me. They called him. They called other brother. Said, first of all, what we'll say that after all the investigation, Paul is innocent. First, and Paul is cleared. Everything you accuse him of, we've done a investigation now. And what was this thing? It's a lifestyle. I've worked so hard, I'm, I'm a very good business person, I save. So there's a difference between when you want to pay somebody and say, okay, you want, he wants to buy this thing, how much do they get? Take, blank check. But what about another buy? Put that from this in my account. And all of a sudden, he went back to claim something that took us to almost 2006, seven. Then only for me, to be excited me explain how you have to they gave you 20,000 did not give you mm -hmm. and let us have listening to where you bought the vehicle and we, I already told him this is the reason so now after they told you every time the truth came out that I was innocent what, what would you do if you do what the next thing you do I'm sorry simple. I didn't know simple so there was no I'm sorry from your brother never so um I'm not like I said I'm not saying it but because the fact that this is on the UFC and is already out in the public otherwise don't forget I see working with brands if I don't clear it out, it will affect me. Yep. Yeah. Of course, in that uh, in, in, in that interview, he said his brother, his twin brother Peter, took him to EFCC, like arrested him with EFCC, trying to be like maybe there's something they are cheating him. Because the rumors that was going around is that Jude and Paul and Paul, which Jude is their elder brother, the elder brother of the twins, Jude and Paul, they are cheating Peter, or there are some royalties they've not been paying or sharing with Peter. You understand? So Paul saying that is now confirming that particular rumor because now Paul is saying that where before he went to the EFCC office they've already printed all his back statement trying to track down all the money that has entered into his account and one of the things that really annoyed him was that what if he was doing something fraudulent like Yahoo you get so that's how his brother would have implicated him because the the EFCC people needed his bank statement to be able to do their investigation you understand so after the whole investigation they found out that maybe the money he's talking about that Paul has more than him or there's a money he is wondering how Paul got is he realizes that is a money they both shared he used it to live his lifestyle buy a car but Paul actually maybe saved his so now him he's wondering how did the money how did Paul get certain money and they traced the money to far back as in the early 2000s where Paul saved his and he used his to buy a car we really cannot completely believe or completely say that oh paul that came out to do the interview or what paul said is completely truth because paul also said that after they have found out and declared him innocent that peter refused to apologize that means there is still rift there is still beef or maybe he is not contented with what they've said he's not satisfied with the judgment of the efcc people you understand so my own point is why are they always quarreling why does it look like jude is the weapon fashioned against these twins why is their own twins not twinning like why are they always like if these things are happening between between friends just like i spoke about in mark angel and the denison issues you get if these things are happening between friends and this is happening between siblings not just siblings twins for that matter they've not had a way they've not come to a point where they've been able to agree and then this um, Joey Bokwe or one politician like that has come out to actually you know leave like a tweet asking that 
are there no elders in their family why are people not settling in why are their elders not talking to them like this just shows it uh, goes a long way to show that show that there's no maturity amongst them or something like the whole back and forth of drama of chaos of quarreling fighting all because of money is alarming and it's 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 not something to be proud of to be really honest because they are always having issues in fact ever since their mom died it seems like they've not been able to come together so the the man asking that question is really important because don't you guys have elders people who can settle you people who can settle your issues before before the, the public gets to find out because everybody's family have one issues or the other but one way or the other they always find a way to settle it within the family without it coming out but every damn time Peter and Paul's issue, twins for that matter, their cases are always coming to the internet. And some people are saying that their elder brother is the problem. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to believe or argue against that. But the truth of the matter is, I don't know how they've not been able to coexist, to be able to, you know, pay each other. As in, it whoever owns a right should be paid accordingly. You understand? There's always one person that always feels cheated, and it feels like Peter is always the one that is always feeling cheated. You understand? And to be really honest, most of the time we've not even heard from Peter in this particular case that has happened. You get? And Paul even went as far as responding to the the Joe book. I don't know if it's Joe that is his name, and was abusing. I will leave the what his response are ah, here. You understand? For you guys to see. But what are your thoughts about this um, Peter and Paul issues every now and then, and always fighting, always quarreling always you know because of one issue or the other because of one person feeling cheated what are your thoughts about this re recent rift between peter and paul please i want to know and please is any other person super excited for our mommy of lagos coming out oh bodies you guys leave it in the comment section thank you for watching the video please 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 like comment and above all subscribe if you've not subscribed join the family let us become our amiable partners thank you so much guys i'll see you all in my next one bye guys